state of the art. All right, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Triple Six, coming at you with another comic book haul video. I hope all is well with everybody out there. Um, it's been a minute, so uh, let me first start off by saying um, I went to a couple of local uh, dealer shows as well as a local con. I think I did pretty good, man. I found some really dope books. Um, I found some fantastic, uh, 50 cent buys, uh, just unbelievable. And, uh, I'll get to those in a minute, but for now, I want to start off with showing, uh, some books that I picked up that were in a lot. So first we've got the son of Hulk, number one, the realm of Kings, and uh, there's the first appearance in this. So in this, in this, we've got the first appearance of Gentora. I believe she, I believe that's a scroll. There were some rumors that uh, came out that uh, this character might show up somewhere. But like I said, I picked it up because it was a nice little lot. And for $10, uh, there were four issues in it. Some pretty cool cover art can't beat it so i got issue one two issue three and issue four and uh also in a lot i found uh these before individually i don't think i ever had the whole set but now i finally do We've got Rose and Thorn, number one. Some Adam Hughes goodness. Number two. Number three. I think this is the money cover that everybody likes. Number four. It's a dope cover. Obviously, we can see why people like it. <laughs> also got number five. And issue six, nice. Okay, so these books that I'm about to show, these were just uh, as they were marked on the cover. That's what I paid for them. This is week. This is this is week. Uh, this is week fifty two, number eight. I, I remember somebody talking about this a while ago. I think the, this came up because. We know that now that James Gunn is at these at the helm at DC, uh, there's a lot of hype around off the wall characters, and uh, I think it's been announced that uh, Booster Gold is coming. And uh, I think in this, there's a first appearance of one of his family members, a brother, a uncle, father, or something. But it was a cheap pickup. I think I got that for like a dollar. I also saw this. This is that Booster Gold issue number one. This came out in 2007 from this uh, the Week 52 run. Not the Week 52, but the... Was it the New 52? Something like that. 
This was a cover buy for me, man. I've been wanting this for a while. Uh, like I said, just a dope cover. We've got the Reverse Flash Rebirth number eight. Found that for a dollar. I've shown this before. This is that Heroic Age, Age of Heroes. This uh, Blue Marvel cover appearance. Interesting Squirrel Girl look right there. <laughs> I've shown this before. Uh, this is Supergirl number one. This came out in 1996. This is the first appearance of Linda Danvers. Linda Danvers as Supergirl. I also picked this up. This was half of cover price. This is Supergirl number one. This came out in 1972. Uh, this, I think this might be her first solo series. Anyway, uh, like I said, this came out in 1972. We've got cover art by... Is this Ben Oxner? Oxner? This also has a uh, backup story of Zatanna. I just thought it was a nice little pickup. And I told you guys I was going to find this. I knew that uh, I was going to run across it, and sure enough, also got this for half of cover. This is Witchblade number 10, first appearance of the darkness. I think it was either in my previous haul or the haul before that. I picked up that Mark Silvestri uh, cover. But I just knew that I was going to find this out in the wild, and uh, I did. Just a dope Michael Turner. Some more stuff that I picked up the dealer at the dealer shows. So this is the Uncanny X Men number two ninety nine. I believe this is the first appearance of Graydon Creed. He is the son of uh, Sabretooth and uh, Mystique. Interesting. I told you guys whenever I find these, I pick them up. This is the Ultimate Fantastic Four, number one. First appearance of Reed Richards, who becomes the maker uh, later on, I guess. This was just a cover by, man. I've never seen this before. The cover's kind of beat up. I hope I can find a better copy, but this is the... Uh, Avengers number 11, just an awesome Tyler Kirkham, uh, Loki Venomized variant. Also found this, we've got Alias number 24. Uh, this is the first modern appearance of the Purple Man, uh, as it says on the cover right there. This came out in 2003. Just a beautiful cover, man. And uh, you know, I was glad to find that. I was glad to finally find this. Just uh, some dope David Mack. So I finally ran across this. We've got Battle Scars, number one. This is the first appearance of Phil Coulson in the comic books. I've shown this before. This is that Avengers number two, uh, just the variants of Kang, as well as Kang himself. Well, I was glad to see this. I have never seen this out in the wild, so this was a nice little pickup for me right here. This is Action Comics number 835. I believe this is the first appearance of Livewire in continuity. And uh, not only did I get one, I found two of these bad boys. And what makes this one dope is this is a newsstand. And that was interesting. What's interesting is the newsstand is cheaper. They were selling it cheaper than the direct. I kind of tried to look to see if there was something going on with the cover. Uh, you know, uh, maybe the grade was a little lower, but these look pretty good. They both do. I mean, they've got some, looks like we've got some, uh, 
some spine, some dents in the spine, but those are definitely pressable, man. I think I can I can get those out if I really wanted to. Okay, so these books that I'm gonna show now, these were all half of cover price. I picked up another uh, Uncanny X Men number two ninety nine. I was trying to see if I could find me a newsstand. This was just a cover buy for me. This is uh, the Flash Annual number three. Just a dope cover, man. Shown this before. Uh, X-Men number 188. First appearance of the Children of the Vault. And I just like this cover. I believe I got one when I went to the movies uh, to see the Suicide Squad. I just really like this cover. This is the Suicide Squad number one. This was what they gave you when you went to the movies. Just a beautiful cover. Like I said, all, all this stuff is half of what's marked on the cover. We've got Avengers Origin number one, the one shot. The reason why I picked this up, this is a Jeff DeCall cover. So check this out. This was, uh, I probably should have put this in with lots. I got the entire lot of six. The reason why I picked this up, this is Suiciders, uh, number one. This is a uh, Lee, Bra Lee Bramejo. All of these are, uh, excuse me, all of these are the Lee Bramejo covers. And I think he also wrote the story for this. But there are six issues in this. The covers looked interesting enough, so I decided to read it. It was uh, definitely different, you know, kind of like post-apocalyptic post -apoc future. Um, these guys are battling. Uh, it's, it's like a to the death type of thing. Uh, it's spectators, you know, they they bet people are gambling on who they think is going to win. And this was it was a strange story, but uh, it was decent. I enjoyed it. But like I said, I got this in the as an entire set. This is number one. These are all Lee Bermejo, co Lee Bermejo covers. Number two, issue three, issue four. Nice cover right there. Issue five and issue six. Speaking of dope covers, this is just a cover buy. Uh, anytime I see this, I'm going to pick it up, especially if I can get it on the cheap. This is that Earth X number five, just a beautiful Alex Ross cover. Speaking of uh, Alex Ross, I also picked up this Universe X. Number six, just uh, Alex Ross, man. Just he does some beautiful work. And like I said, if I find these on the cheap, I'm not saying they're not going for anything, but I just think it's great artwork. Awesome covers. I keep finding this. I found another one. We got X-Men, excuse me, X-Men Legacy number 214. First appearance of Mr. Sinister, Mr. Sinister's daughter, Miss Sinister. Man, I remember back in the day when I saw people showing this book in their haul videos. You know, you just want it. You want it. You want, you want to try and find it uh, when you're out in the wild. And I could never find it. And uh Online, you know, people wanted like $30, $40 for this dang thing. I think the highest it, the highest peak it reached, I think, was like 50 bucks. But now, you know, how, again, how the mighty has fallen. We've got Batman Detective Comics number 850. I think this was the first appearance, uh, the first time we see the Gotham City Sirens. Sirens? Like I said, man, this was... I did not want to pay eBay, eBay prices. I always knew that I would find this in the wild. And this is like my second or third. And, uh, you know, like I said, half of cover price, $2. This is crazy. Another dope book. 
This is my second one that I found. This is Astonishing X-Men number six with the first appearance of Abigail Brand, Abigail Brand who I think runs Swore. Even uh, if this didn't have a first appearance, I just think this is a great cover right here. It really is. Maybe my luck's about to change, man, because uh, I finally found some uh, Zatanna books in the wild. Uh, it's not those Adam Hughes, but maybe it's a sign of things to come in the future. Like I said, I'm expecting, I'm expecting some really good things to uh, happen this year, so we'll see. But check this out. I found Zatanna number two. I also found issue three. Nice little run. Issue four. These are some really nice covers as well. Issue five. Like that. Issue six. I don't think these are Ben Oliver. And also found issue. Whoa. Also found issue seven. So like I said, a nice little run. That issue one wasn't there. But, uh, you know, two through seven. Nice little start. Oh, speaking of uh, some sweet covers, check this out. Found this Battlestar Galactica number one. Just a uh, beautiful Michael Turner, man. I saw this in the box. I was like, yeah, I got to get that. I looked this up online, man. This doesn't go for anything. And that's... Uh, Unbelievable. A lot of Michael Turner's art doesn't go for anything. And that's crazy to me. That's a shame. This dude, his talent, it's just, his talent level was just off the chain. It really was. Check this out. I found the gold foil, uh, Phantom number 12, the Dynamic Forces. And this is signed by like four different people, and including uh, Michael Turner. So I got my first signed Michael Turner. It's also signed by uh, Silvestri. Wolf. I couldn't figure out who the other guy is, but just a dope little pickup. I would have preferred that uh, there was no signatures on it, but like I said, to find my first Michael Turner, I'm not into the signatures, but if you find some, something and to have a Michael Turner uh, signature, that's, 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 that's what's up. Let me grab my next stack. So this is Ferris number eight. I believe uh, this is Adam Hughes. Uh, I think he had his hand in this, possibly the stories. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, On that, but do your research. I, I think he did uh, almost all the covers in this run. But I also found number, like I said, this is number, uh, this is number eight. Also found number nine. Look at that. Nice. I found number 10. And the reason why I look in the, uh, uh, the when I, I look, I go into F and look under Ferris because I've seen people show this cover. I've almost bit the bullet and pulled the trigger, so to speak, and uh, bought it online. But I just had a feeling. I was going to find it out in the wild, and I'll be damned if this time, you, your boy, he found it. Check it out. We've got Ferris number three, that Adam Hughes goodness, man. Look at that cover. Look at that. Finally found this bad boy. I said half cover price. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. This doesn't go for a lot, but it was it's just nice to be able to find this in the wild when you're digging and to see it and know this is something you've been wanting to try and find for a while. So, yep, I can finally knock this off my list. You know, I, I, I think I did really good, man. I found some just beautiful cover art, some dope book, some first appearances, and got them for a great, part, a great price. But check this out. I found 
Warlord of Mars, Warlord of Mars, number two, J. Scott Campbell. Nice. Nice. Doesn't go for a lot, but it doesn't matter. Just to be able to find that in the wild, I've never seen it. Awesome. Speaking of awesome, I also found number three. Look at that. J. Scott Campbell, Warlord of Mars, number three. Just beautiful, man. Like I said, it's nice when you find stuff like this that you've never seen before in the wild. So, you know, get out there. Do your work. <laughs> Stuff's just waiting on you. Another book that I looked at when I was on my vampir uh, my she kick, I had ran across it, but uh, I didn't I didn't pull the trigger. You know, I, th I thought it was okay uh, for an Adam Hughes. It's not bad, but like I said, I could wait on it, and I'm glad I did because uh, I found it out there in the wild. We've got Vampirella she. This is an Adam Hughes. Not his best work, but for a book I had never seen before until I was uh, researching she and ran she and ran across it. Just a nice little find. Speaking of a nice little find, I found another one. Of, another one of these. This is at Vampirella, uh, number number two of three. That David Finch man, David Finch, nice. Nice. See, this is kind of why I stick with uh, looking in Warlord of Mars, Deja Thoris, and Vampirella, because you just never know what great cover art you're going to find. Uh, speaking of a dope cover, this is Vampirella, the 25th anniversary special. Um, I think this is reused cover art, but this is my first first time finding it. Um this is a Frank Frazetta artwork. Nice. And the book that another one that I almost pulled the trigger on uh, when I saw it online. But I'm glad I held out because I finally found this in the wild. Check this out. Look at this Vampirella. Just dope. Just it's a beautiful cover, man. I can't believe I found that in the box. And like I said, half a cover price. Let me see, what issue is this? Is this uh it's not Shannon Mayer? This isn't Shannon Mayer. Mayer, who's the cover artist on this? Oh, look at that. All right, Vampirella number 10. Let me see, who is so I was definitely glad to find this in the long boxes. Oh, and check this out. I never thought I would see these. I'm not saying these go for a lot, but just to be able to find these in those boxes. I mean, just this is a good time to be collecting, man. Uh, there's just, uh, these guys are just putting a lot of stuff back in the boxes for people to find and add to their collections. But check this out. I found Dead World number one. Just a dope, dope cover. And this is actually signed by the artist. The cover artist, is it Vince Vince Locke? Just dope, man. Look at that. I've seen a lot of people show this. I never thought I would find it. But like I said, I got this for half a cover price. They had issue one and issue number two. This one, too, is also signed. Nice. Look at that. And look at the colors on that. Just an awesome, awesome cover. All right. Let's get into that last stack. So everything that I'm getting ready to show now, these were all 50 cent pickups. Uh, just, uh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I was finding. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I came across, this is uh, Superman number 81. I think this is the first time he wears the black suit.
Remember when this was a thing? Civil War number two, Civil War two number one. Man, this was a hot book back in the day. <laughs> now, 50 cents. Wow. Oh, shout out to uh, Keep It Thorough. He talked about this book. Uh, he was telling everybody that uh, Superman uh, killing somebody, uh, it, it's been done before. You know, everybody tripped when he did it in the movies. Well, he, he actually did it in this comic book. He actually passed judgment on uh, Zod and his uh, crew. So I had to pick it up and I read it. Just a crazy story, man. Uh, but I was glad to find it. And uh, also, it's a newsstand. I picked this up. Uh, it was just a cover buy for me. It was in Mylar. This is Avengers number 229 newsstand. I just like this cover. I keep buying it. This is the init Avengers, the initiative number one. I've shown this before. This is the Century of Void, number one. I found another another one of these, man. This is that Howling Commandos, number one. And I told you guys, every time I see this, I'm grabbing it. This is the House of Vex, number one. And I found another one, the Powers of Vex, number one. 50 cents. I don't know anything about this title, so uh, I just grabbed it. This is because I've, I've never seen it in the wild. This is the Elephant Man number 71. I thought it was an interesting cover. Uh, this is what, Dan Panacean? Another cover by, uh, this is Thunderbolts number three. There might be a first appearance in this. Uh, do your research. This is the new X-Men number 43. Uh, this is a Scotty Young, uh, early Scotty Young cover. This is quite different from his baby variant covers that he does. Remember when this was a thing? We've got Green Lantern number 40. Simon Bass and Simon Bass and Jessica Cruz, I think it is. And I told you guys, whenever I see these, I'm I'm a, I'm picking them up. This is that Marvel Fanfare number 56. That Shioto. I also found 57. I just think they're great covers. And number 59. Just nice, man. Nice. Speaking of a dope cover, we've got Conan number two, that Joseph Michael Lenzer. Found some of these. Check this out. This is my first time uh, running into these books. I've seen people show these before. But we've got that Liberty Medals by Frank Cho. I can't tell what issue this is. See, what's the issue number on this? Liberty Medals number. Issue number 19. I don't know. They're not putting the issues on the cover. I'm not going to open all these up, but I also found this Frank Show Liberty Medals. Ah, this one's on the cover. We've got Liberty Medals number 35. Number 36. As well as this issue. I'm going to have to look because I called out the other, no, the other numbers. Let me see. Um, this is issue number 16. Wow. 
you know, people ask uh, a little bit for these. I'm not saying they're getting it, but this was a nice little pickup. I've never seen them in the wild and for 50 cents all day. So check this out. I grabbed this. This is a Mark Silvestri sketchbook. I thought that was interesting. There's nothing to this. I just got it for the cover. This is War of the Realms number one, the Eddie Granoff variant. Never seen this before. Never seen this before. This is Danger Girl number one of four. A J. Scott Campbell. Nice. Speaking of J. Scott Campbell, we got X Men Worlds Apart number one of four. Like I said, all this is 50 cents. I'll check this out. We've got Eve Proto Mecha number two. This is a Michael Turner. Nice. Speaking of Michael Turner, we've got Phantom Zero, a variant of Phantom Zero, Michael Turner. Oh, look at this. This is nice. We've got the swimsuit special. Uh, this came out in 2000. Another Michael Turner. I thought this was a cold cover. This goes for a little bit. This is Phantom Dawn of War number three. Just a beautiful cover, man. I thought this thing was beautiful. I'm like, what? Let me grab that. And speaking of beautiful covers, check that out. Aspen Splash swim Swimsuit Spectacular 2007. This is the UK exclusive edition. Michael Turner. Nice. Nice. Look at that. I think I've talked talked about Magic Order before. I just really enjoy that story. Uh, this was a cover by. Uh, this was a variant. Just a dope cover. We've got the Magic Order number two. I think this is out of the first run. Speaking of dope covers, we've got Black Widow, Marvel Knights number one. This is a Greg Land. Like I said, 50 cents, man. I couldn't believe it. We've also got Black Widow number two. I don't know if this is the first or second appearance of Yelena. It's not the first, but uh, early appearance of Yelena Belova, I do believe. Another dope cover. Check that out. Secret Avengers uh, number four, the variant, the women of Marvel. Found some X-23. Three books, man. Check this out. We've got X-23, Target X, number one. Dope, dope, Frank Cho. I've seen people show this before. I was just, I, I've never seen it. I was glad to find it. And like I said, 50 cents, man. Great pickup. But also found Target X, number two. Another Cho. Target X number four and Target X number six. Nice. I think this is from our first series. We got an X twenty three number two. Also found number ten. And check this out. 50 cents, X-23, number one. I think this is those women of Marvels uh, when they did that little, that little run with the weird little symbols in the back. But I thought that was an awesome find, man. Awesome find. 
speaking of an awesome fun, it was a great, it was great to find it, but it also kind of irritated me a little bit because you guys, when I went to, you guys remember when I told you I went to Arizona and I showed some books that I found, and uh, this was one that I never thought I would see in the wild. I paid a little bit, you know, he gave me a deal on it, but still, to find this for fifty cent, this just. This book right here has completely made me rethink my game and how I've been buying things. I'm like, man, if I can find something like this, but it gets better. It gets better, but hang in there. But anyway, check this out. X-23, number one, Women of Marvel, the one shot. 50 cents. Wow. I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you serious? Like I said, that just, I kept looking at this book when I got back home. I was like, man, I can't believe it. You know, I'm actually, I, I was actually feeling like, uh, you know, I was out there doing something like some of these other guys when they be showing their haul videos and they be pulling stuff out of the dollar bins. And you're like, no way. No way did you find that. But I've now seen it. I'm, I'm living proof. Uh, just <laughs> some of the crazy things you're going to find. Speaking of crazy, check this out. I found my first Tron variant. We've got New Avengers number seven. Nice. Nice. 50 cents for my first Tron variant. Awesome. I've shown this before, this Brian Bowling cover. We've got Control number three or number 30. No, part three of six. Yeah, issue 30, part three of six, I guess. And, you know, uh, the video, the whole video wouldn't be complete unless I showed my boy uh, Joshua Middleton. So we've got Wonder Woman Convergence, number one. I've been trying to find this for a while. It doesn't go for anything, but, you know, if you got something you're searching for, me, I, when I'm looking for Middleton books, this was one that has eluded me. Uh, like I said, it's just, uh, just something I wanted. Glad to have finally found it. Speaking of Middleton, I believe I've shown this one before. This is Supergirl number 36, and it's actually signed, but I don't know if this is Middleton. I can't tell from the signature, but nice little pickup. Speaking of Middleton, I was telling you guys about those that Serenity storyline. There was one book in particular that I wanted that I couldn't find. I almost bought it online, but I'm glad I waited. Serenity number three, just a dope, dope find, man. 50 cents. And here's another one that just made me say, wow. You know, I found them before in the wild. But, you know, this is at a time when the character was hot. But uh, check it out. We've got New Mutants number six, The Ties That Bind. First appearance of... Uh, um, Surge. Yeah, the first appearance of Surge. Nice. Nice. Couldn't believe it. Oh, and another book. I was like, are you serious? Are you serious right now? I'm just pulling them right left and right out of, this, out of these 50 cent boxes. Remember when this was a thing? DC Universe Rebirth, Aquaman number 26, Joshua Middleton. First appearance of Dolphin uh, in the modern, you know, in the modern age. I, I guess we can say modern age. Um, the, re, the reappearance, reemergence, Dolphin. Number 26, Joshua Middleton. I paid up a little bit for the, the first, the copy that I'd found. And to find this for 50 cents in excellent, excellent condition. Unreal, man. So like I said, this has really made me, this is really made me, making me rethink uh, how I'm out here collecting. Uh, now that I found some of these books, I'm like, yeah, I think I can do it now. You know, I think my the game is starting to change for me. But anyway, check it out. I also found Aphrodite number two, dope David Finch cover. Just dope, dope. Speaking of cool co 
covers. This is Darkness, number 17. Just a beautiful cover, man. That all red. Uh, it's hard to get this in high grade. I think there might be one little blemish on this, but for 50 cents, man, you can't beat that. You can't beat that at all. I've shown this before. This is that free comic book day. Uh, Infinity, number one. Let's see, we've got the first appearance of Corvus Glaive. This came out in 2013. Another book that it, it got hot for a minute and then disappeared. This is Marvel Knights Spider-Man number 10. I think this is the first time we got at Matt Gorgon Scorpion as uh, he had gotten a symbiote. So like, I guess we'll call him Scorpion, Venom Scorpion. I don't know. <laughs> but this was a nice little find. I've shown this many, many, many times in a bunch of my videos. I found another one. We've got the Mighty Avengers number one. This is where we get the first appearance of Monica Rambeau as uh, Spectrum. And you pass it if you find this in the long box. Shadow of the Bat number one. Great memories right here. I think this is the first appearance of, is it uh, Zaz? What's his name? Is it Simon Zaz? Something. Something Zaz, Victor Zaz. There we go. First appearance, I believe, of Victor Zaz. Just a nice little pickup. So we're about to wind it down, get into my last few books. Um, this has been a pretty big haul video, but I hope it was worth the wait. Again, you know, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, hey, your boy finally crossed into triple digits. <laughs> It's taking me a while, but I finally got a hundred subscribers. So shout out to all of you, man. I appreciate you. I really do. Thanks for hanging with me. Hope, hopefully, I'm bringing some dope finds. Uh, I'm turning you guys onto some stuff. But let's show. Let me, let me show my last three books. I had shown this before. I found another one. This is uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number one, the Spider Verse. I think this is the nope. The Amazing Spider-Man number nine, part one. Yeah, this is the second appearance of Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen. Now, in these last two books, like I said, this just made me say, wow. It, this just completely, it took me to another level, changed my game, changed the way I'm out here thinking about collecting now. Um, when I went to Tempe, I told you guys that I uh, went in this shop and there were two books on his wall. I ended up going with that Deadly Class cover, but I was tempted. Tempted. This was right before Thor came out. He had this on his wall. He wanted $130. Do you know how sick I would be right now if I had bought that? I looked at it. It was in my hands, but I was just like, nah, I can't do it, man. Let me get that deadly class. So glad. Check this out. 50 cents. Thor. Issue number one. First Jane Foster in her solo. First Jane Foster, I think, solo series. Crazy. Crazy. 50 cents, man. And just a year ago, this was selling for 130 raw. Wow. Unreal. And a book that I've always been looking for ever since the first time I, I saw somebody show it years ago. I just was hoping that I would find it and just never ran across it. Basically, almost gave up hope that I would find it in the long boxes. And with the recent news uh, that this character is going to be in the, what is it? Um, the Thunderbolts. This has caused this book to go back up again. Definitely not going to buy it on the Bay. But man, when I was going through them boxes and I saw this, I couldn't believe it. I just, I just looked at it. All I could do was 
on my stack. I took it and turned it over. I was like, this can't be for real. First, I found Thor 1, and then check it out. I found this, 50 cents. The century number one. And this thing is beautiful. Look at this. We might have a little something, something right here. Maybe right here, but for 50 cents, man, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Even with the little spawn thing going on. You know, that's this is a beautiful copy, man. It needs, I, I should have put this stuff in a new bag and board so it would really show off. So that board, so that bag and board would, you know, make it shine a little bit more. But dang, 50 cents, player? Crazy. Crazy. Like I said, I couldn't believe it. I just said, when I got back home, I just, I fixed myself a drink and I was just looking, I was going through my stacks and I just, I kept stopping and just looking at these like, wow. Wow. Look at what this thing is going for right now. And to have found it a week or two weeks before the announcement came out that this this, this was going to be the potential villain that the Thunderbolts were, are going to face off against. Crazy. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. I enjoyed putting it together for you. So with that, we're going to bring this bad boy to an end. You know how we do. This is your boy, Triple Six. Until next time, I'm out.